And now we're going to discuss the results of the lab when we did antibiotics, antibacterial agents, and UV. I'm going to talk about UV first. So uh, Salmonella is on the left, Staphorus on the right. You can see for some reason UV had no effect, which is very weird, very strange. Uh, maybe they were too far from the lamp. Uh, maybe um, this little piece of paper shaded um, the UV, I don't know, but um, yeah, for some reason it didn't work. So that's okay. That happens. Um, I might have did a might have done a stupid mistake. I don't remember if I removed the um, lead. I was tired at this moment, but if that would be with the lead, the lead completely protects from the UV light. But technically, UV should have killed him. Okay. Now let's talk about antibiotics. So um, I'm going to show you the results. Okay. And you can see, so um, this is Salmonella, this is Staphorius. So there are some things that I wanted to briefly outline so you can see that uh, both of them are pretty sensitive to certain antibiotics like ciprofloxacin um, and ticarcillin do a pretty good job. But if we would compare others, so um, Staphorius is on the left, that's a gram positive. For instance, erythromycin is pretty effective. Vancomycin is, is effective. If you look, so, and, and how do we judge efficiency? I should say it first. We judge efficiency by the size of the inhibition zone. You see the inhibition zones here? The bigger the inhibition zone, the um, more susceptible the microbe to antibiotics. So for instance, here, ciprofloxacin has a modest inhibition zone for Staphorius and a huge inhibition zone for Salmonella. Uh, Tobramycin, rather small inhibition zone for Staphorius and a pretty large inhibition zone for Salmonella. But here's the deal. Look at this. Erythromycin, pretty efficient right here, erythromycin, pretty efficient against gram-positives, zero inhibition of gram-negatives. Polymyxin B, very little, no efficiency at all for gram positives, pretty efficient for gram negatives. Sulfamethoxazole, not efficient against gram positives, very efficient against gram negatives. Vancomycin, where is Vanco? Vancomycin, limited efficiency against gram positives, no inhibition against gram negatives. That is from ciprofloxacin. So it shows you that there are some antibiotics that can be considered broad spectrum, like ticarcillin or ciprofloxacin or tetracycline. Look how beautifully identical, almost identical the inhibition zones are. Okay. But there are also antibiotics that have a narrow spectrum, you know, work with gram positives, but not with gram negatives. Now, I will provide the link with extended data on multiple um, pathogens. Uh, it's uh, Google Sheets um, file. I don't know how to call it file, I guess. Um, Google Sheets document. You will be able to copy the data, build graphs, and I will explain during our live WebEx session uh, how you should analyze the data for that particular lab. So let's take a look at the ho common household items. So silver nitrate, well, not using it, but it shows you that silver has moderate activity against microorganisms, moderate, okay? Now, let's take a look at ethanol. Ethanol, very little activity against, what is that? Salmonella typhi, and not a lot of activity against Staphorius. Why? Well, ethanol evaporates. So it's not like using hand sanitizer, okay? So it evaporated from these plates. Um, scope. Mm, you know, not much. A little bit against Staphorius, no activity against Salmonella. But honestly, if you have Salmonella in your mouth, you're in big trouble. Lysol, some activity against Staphorius, 
no activity against salmonella whatsoever. Okay? Hydrogen peroxide. This is probably the only stably active chemical. You see, great activity against um, what's that? Uh, Staph aureus, great activity against salmonella. And mycoquot, you know, somewhat active, better against gram positives than against gram negatives. So again, you can see that actually uh, you need to take into account when you choose antimicrobial agent whether it's going to evaporate or not. It's going to stay. Whether it's um, gram positive or gram negative agent that you are trying to kill. So all of that dictates how you choose the chemical agent for microbial control.